you know, I like walking out here for the obvious reasons. Um, you know, there's a lot to be said for just the naturalness of it, you know, to this being out in the wilderness, but there's there's also, I feel like, an unspoken or un, unreally quantified in your day-to-day -day cost to just living life. You know, you drive your car to work, there's an environmental cost to it. You, you, you have something Amazon primed to you. There's an environmental cost to that. And it's not captured in the price tag. You know, no company builds into its fee structure how much it's going to cost to undo the environmental damage caused by, you know, not just transportation, but the resource mining and, man, this gimbal. I really got to get used to this gimbal. Uh, you know, all the stuff that sort of goes into just living a modern human existence in North America. And part of this project for me, part of Wild Haven for me at least, is a, a bit of guilt dissuasion, right? Like I, it's not that I feel the need to, to feel less guilty about what we're doing out here, or what we're doing in, in regular life, but, you know, I, that helps. It helps quite a bit. Because I have kids. And I think about the long-term environmental costs that I am passing down to them based on the, the decisions that I make in my day-to-day -day life. And some of the stuff you just can't get around if you want to live a modern, you know, regular life. Uh, so I try to undo a little bit of that damage by taking something like this and, and returning it back to not just native habitat, but better quality natural habitat than what's here right now. So, you know, we'll see how that goes long term, but... You know, I feel like that plays no small part in what we're trying to do out here.